Bra. We got this. Hey everyone, this is Adam here with Bravi Got This, and today I'm bringing you guys a video on the Witcher 3 crossover from Monster Hunter World. Um, so today the crossover event uh, launched in the Monster Hunter World uh, community and game, and basically uh, this is just a event that you can do for a limited time um, that we know of um, right now. Uh, it, we don't, I, I'm not sure if this is going to be like behemoth and it's going to last here and stay in the game or if it's going to rotate out like, um, some of the other events that do like the greatest Yagris and all that stuff. But basically, um, it's pretty fresh and I played it a bunch here tonight with my friends and it's very interesting. So before you get into this, before you watch this, I want to let you know there's spoilers ahead. So if you do not want to know anything about this, you need to stop now um, and basically don't watch the video because <laughs> it'll, you know, spoil it for you. But basically, it's set up the same way that the Final Fantasy Behemoth thing is. They bring in Geralt of Rivia and um, if you guys have ever played Witcher, they have the same music, they have the same font, the same like style of quest where you get like contracts and everything like that. So you get this contract to find this thing that came into the ancient forest that's making uh animals act weird killing animals all this other stuff and basically um what happens is you're gonna go into the forest here you're gonna pick a weapon you get to play as Geralt and if you play as shield and sword you get to actually use his weapons from the game and that's actually pretty cool and another thing you get to use is this uh igni uh rune spell um which is his fire spell and you'll see this later on here of why you use it but basically you go in you research you talk to these uh, researchers on the map and you see you know what they say and and you perform whatever they need you to perform like you you look for clues so if you're familiar with the witcher you know you always search for clues tracks fur just all kinds of stuff on animals and Geralt will like kind of talk to himself like an insane person basically while he does this which i think is still funny but um that's what you do here and something that's interesting is there's actually side quests in this and i want to do a video on these eventually once i can figure out the you know all of them because it's it's kind of a mystery right now since it's so new but basically when you get into certain areas you'll find the doodles on the wall that you find with the gremlin gremlin kind um and as of right now me and my friends have found eight doodles and basically when you find these doodles you'll get a side quest that has you go talk to the researcher up near the pukey pukey um, area and both times that we've done this we've failed the quest it said that we don't have like he doesn't have enough doodles and we're like and it says like you know you need to find the hunter so like i guess your main character needs to do something or you need to find more doodles so we're trying to collect all of them and figure that out so if you guys have any suggestions or if you guys have any insight on that let us know in the comments below but we're trying to figure that out and i'm trying to have a video out on that um, as soon as i can um once we figure all it out but basically that's one of the side quests and then the other, the only other side quest that we've seen is when you go talk to the um, researcher here um, that's trapped in the roots. It's the like the guy that you use to farm materials back at the, the base. Um, there, if you go behind him, there's a pukey pukey that's still alive. And you can use uh, Igni to release it and it'll fly away. And basically, we'll get to that in a second of what happens with that. But when you do that, you go and you find this totem and this is where um the monster the leshen that you fight is uh pretty much brings demented yagresses that are a lot stronger and highly annoying and they just pretty much attack you like the velociraptors in uh jurassic world if you've ever seen that but you have to kill these and then you activate the totem and the leshen appears and this fight is really really cool and it's a really interesting take on it because me and my friends were kind of curious of how they were going to do this because Monster Hunter, you know, has these massive monsters and like Behemoth is massive from Final Fantasy and everything. But the Leshen is actually quite small. I, I believe by fighting this, it's probably smaller. It's probably as small as like Odagarin or like Tzatziki, um, which is interesting because he's pretty powerful and 
the weapons that you're given are amazing. Um, I would say that the shield and sword is one of the best ones that we've seen because it has white sharpness and it's his weapon. So I feel like it's meant to be done with that. It's supposed to be easier. Um, and we've seen a lot of really good damage output with that because insect glaive goes to like yellow sharpness in no time. Uh, long sword is decent to clear out the aggresses, but the shield and sword is not bad, but basically this fight, you know, I want you guys to experience it yourself, but you know, he has these crows that he has flying around him that will always do damage to you if you're around him. And then he'll shoot his crows at you. He'll go down to the ground and shoot roots up. Um, he'll, you know, explode roots up from the bottom, wherever you're at. Um, so he has all these cool move sets and that's something I kind of want you guys to experience, but I just wanted you to see that here. Um, basically this is what the fight is. And so he's going to go to multiple areas after this. Like once you do damage to him, you can like flash him out of his teleportation. Um, and he's going to go to basically like four to five areas. Um, he's going to go to Pukey's area. Then he's going to go down towards, towards the vine trap in the Southeast area. Then he's going to go out in the open or he's going to go into Yagris's cave. Now, if he goes onto the open, that's because you freed Pukey Pukey and Pukey Pukey will actually come and help you fight him. And if you do not, keep pukey pukey alive then you fail the pukey pukey quest which is what happens here we failed the pukey pukey quest and he kind of helps with the aggresses but besides that he's pretty useless so i don't we don't really know yet like the best way to keep him alive but he is you know he he tries to help you fight he's like your palico so you have to keep him alive to get that quest done um and then basically once you defeat you know the lesson you get this you get um like a piece from him and you talk to it has a cut scene and everything and basically um Geralt gives you his uh igni rune um and when it gets to the end screen you'll see it says like you know you didn't unravel all the mysteries or you didn't solve all the mysteries in one go try to do it in one go next time so um what we're understanding is that if you do that in one go you get the title um wild hunt and there might be some other things you get i don't know yet but basically um that's sort of the quest that you have to do and you can keep repeating it and when you get back to the blacksmith you can make a new full armor set called the Geralt set and you get to play as Geralt. um that's not surprising and basically this has a, some decent bonuses on it um it gives you the ability to use igni um, which I think is very cool that they did that. I, I don't think there's any other way to use it in the game besides doing that. And then in the shield and sword uh, weapon line, you can actually make Geralt's swords, his silver sword and um, his steel one, which is really cool. Because my one of my friends is really into The Witcher and he's just loving that. Now the last thing that I will say is, so on Capcom's website, they have the events that you can look at and there's a event coming out it's called contract woodland spirit it's available from february 14th to february 28th so that's next week this says team up with a group of hunters to take down an ancient lesion collect rare lesion materials to craft and upgrade equipment and layered armor in special collaboration with witcher 3 so this seems like this is going to be the multiplayer form of it and it might be like a different lesion and it could be similar to the behemoth so this is very exciting i don't know what this is going to be or entail like, I don't know if it's going to be as hard as Behemoth. I don't know if this is going to be, like, the new meta for, like, if there's going to be armor that basically, you know, that that is going to kind of surpass Behemoth or not. Like, I don't know. But this is what they're leading up to. So this is something to look forward to with this event. Um, and so, yeah, guys, um, that's basically the gist of this quest. And I would like to eventually have a guide of how to, you know, find all the doodles and everything like that once we find all of them. So I will keep you posted with that. But if you guys have any questions or any comments, just let me know in the comments below. And let me know if you're enjoying this. It's a pretty cool update. Um, and I'm really, really enjoying it and playing it right now. But um, again, just make sure to follow us on uh, twitch.tv slash Bobby Got This for when we stream on Mondays and Tuesdays. Make sure to follow Joe at twitch.tv slash Joe the Joe. He streams Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, again, let us know. And um, just remember to have faith, be great, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.